Are you struggling to choose the right configuration to maximize your AI model throughput? Or wondering if disaggregated serving can really benefit you? You're not alone. Let's take a look at how AI Configurator can help you solve some of these questions. Let's start off with the web app. To run it, I'll first need to install AI Configurator. I'll also clone the AI Configurator Git repository, which contains some pre-captured calibration data that is used for performance estimation. After cloning the repo, I can launch the web app and open the URL in my browser. The first thing we see is the instructions and help text, which explain how to use the web app and what kind of parameters you can tune. There's a few different types of scenarios you can experiment with, and we'll be focusing on the aggregated and disaggregated Pareto curve estimators. Let's start off with our aggregated model performance estimation. The first thing I do is select the model I want to deploy from the list. Today, we'll be checking out Quen 3235B. We also need to provide some information about our workload, the average input sequence length and output sequence length, and our desired time to first token. Then we input data about our desired system, what kind of GPUs we're using, and what inference engine. The next choice is our quantization level, and I'll choose FP8 for everything. Now, we pick all of the configuration options that we want to sweep through to find the best one. First, we'll decide the maximum number of GPUs we can use for each model instance. Based on that, we'll choose the various kinds of parallelism we want to search through. For this model, we'll explore tensor parallelism, data parallel attention, and expert parallelism. And now, we'll click the Estimate button to run the simulation. What it's doing now is taking the model and breaking it down into a series of individual operations and estimating how long each operation will take based on some pre-collected calibration data. It does this for each configuration and at various levels of concurrency, and translates that back into an overall model level throughput and latency estimation for each configuration. Because it's just an estimation, the final numbers won't be perfectly accurate, but they should give you a sense of the relative performance of different configurations and how to choose the best one for your use case. At the end of the simulation, you'll see this graph that shows the Pareto curve of the different configurations which show the trade-offs between per-GPU throughput and user experience latency. We can see various configurations at the extreme end of the throughput side and at the extreme end of the latency side, as well as configurations that sit somewhere in the middle. We can also look at this table, which gives us more detail on the underlying data, observe the logs for any issues, and download the data for further analysis. Finally, we'll save the analysis for later comparison. Next, we'll take a look at the disaggregated scenario, where I've already run the analysis. I've mostly chosen the same settings for the disaggregated scenario, but notice how I have different configurations for the prefill and decode stages of my LLM inference. As we go further down, we can look at a similar kind of Pareto curve for the disaggregated system. And again, we can check out the high throughput scenarios, and the low latency scenarios. Notice how there are different parallelisms for the decode and prefill stages. We'll again save this analysis for further comparison and move over to the comparison tab. And here I have the previous two analyses loaded up for comparison. As you can see, in the low latency regime, aggregated and disaggregated serving actually perform very similarly. But as we move up to having higher throughput, we can see that the disaggregated system actually gets much better performance. Now let's take a look at the CLI. I'm going to run a similar analysis, looking at the various configurations for a new model, this time Quen 332B. I'm also going to specify the total number of GPUs I have, which will limit the search space to configurations that take up exactly 32 GPUs. This takes a couple seconds to run, but at the end, we're left with another beautiful Pareto curve here in our terminal. We can check out the various different configurations, their performances, and it'll tell us the best performing configuration at different latency requirements. To choose the settings to sweep through for the CLI, we can modify the YAML file. In this case, we're just using the default YAML file for dense models, but you can supply your own YAML file to really dial in the details for your use case. Get started with AI Configurator. Try the web app, automate with the CLI, or check out the documentation for more details.